What's up guys, Sam Matic here, back again with another video. I have some exciting news for fellow Persona fans in the West. That's right, Persona 5 Strikers, better known as Persona 5 Scramble in Japan, is officially confirmed to be coming out to the West on February 23rd of next year. Yo, I am hyped, I'm pumped, I'm pretty sure everybody else on Twitter who's been spamming, spamming Alice's page on Twitter, People have been doing countdowns of this game. Like, I'm pretty sure everyone is pumped. Everyone is hyped for this game. Like, I cannot wait. Like, literally. This game, guess what? This game is coming out on the PS4, the Switch, and exclusively on the West. It's finally coming out on PC. Can you believe that? How many... How, you can't be more satisfied than that. Any Persona fanboys who are complaining about this, they can't be any more satisfied than that. It doesn't matter that you don't get Persona 5 as of yet. But this could be good news for Persona coming out multi-platform sooner or later. You might get Persona 5 on PC, Persona 5 on the Switch, because you know people have been begging for those games for so long. And with Persona 4 Golden on Steam, you saw how much that game sold. That game sold a lot of copies on via Steam, which is crazy to me because it's like, that is the first Persona game that came out on Steam. That's the first Persona game that came out on PC. So for people to finally be able to take their hands and finally be able to play Persona on a laptop or play Persona on their like $1,200 PCs, $1,000 billion PCs is crazy, you know? Playing that at 4K, 60 frames per second, beautiful graphics, you know? It's crazy. Anyways, back to Persona 5 Strikers. The Persona 5 Strikers is coming out February 23rd, 2021. Mark your calendars, people. Mark your calendars, fellow Persona fans. Please do. And I'm getting the source via Gematsu.com. Atlas will release Persona 5 Strikers for PlayStation 4, Switch, and PC via Steam on February 23rd, 2021, which I said. In the West, the publisher announced it will feature English and Japanese voiceovers as well as English, French, Italian, Spanish, and German subtitles on all platforms with additional subtitles Japanese, Korean, and traditional Chinese on PC. The game will be available in the following editions. They have like about four different editions. I'm going to name all of them and I'm going to post pictures of it. Launch edition. PlayStation 4, Switch, and PC. Includes a digital soundtrack with over 40 songs. Digital art book. Behind the scenes video. That's that. Steelbook edition on the Switch. Only in North America. Best Buy exclusive. Remember that. It's a Best Buy exclusive. So if you want the Steelbook, you must pre-order it on Best Buy. Includes a Steelbook case. Digital soundtrack with over 40 songs. Digital art book. And behind the scenes video. That's the Steelbook Edition. Now we got the Digital Deluxe Edition for PC. Includes four day early access. Hmm, I might, I might want that. <laughs> four days early access. Come on, like who wanna want, who wouldn't want to play this game as early as possible? Includes four day early access, the downloadable content, Persona Legacy BGM and All Out Attack Pack, a digital soundtrack with over 40 songs, digital art book, and behind the scenes video. So that's the digital deluxe edition on PC. And then pre order bonus for GameStop exclusive in North America. Users who pre order the game at GameStop in North America or at participating retailers in Europe will receive a Joker pin. Now, I'm gonna show you a picture of this one too. The Joker pin looks badass. Like, I want that. I literally want that, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna if I want the steel book or if I want this damn pen. So I'm pretty sure I want the steel book because you know I'm a collector of steel books. I love my steel books, <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna get that steel book. I'm sorry. The Omega Force developed action RPG titled Persona 5 Scramble: The Phantom Strikers in Japan first launched for PlayStation 4 and Switch in February 20th in the country. So this game came out last year in Japan basically last year like we could say it's 2021 already can you can you not say that like it's gonna play like dynasty warriors it's also gonna have its rpg elements so they're gonna have that and it's gonna change it up the gameplay the gameplay is not gonna be turn-based anymore it's gonna be playing like a muzo game so it's gonna be like that it's gonna play like a dynasty warriors game there's a lot of things that you could do it's very interactive and you know you can do a lot of things that the phantom things do and it's gonna be mad cool like from watching the gameplay and the japanese versions watching the gameplay watching the screenshots watching the videos on youtube watching people play playthroughs of this game like I'm super excited for this game. Like, you have no idea. Imagine. And, and the fact that PC users and Switch users can finally play the characters such as Joker, Haru, Makoto, Ryuji. Finally see the Phantom Thieves in action. Now, I could say this. This might be something towards the future of multi-platform, a Persona being multi-platform. Maybe in the future, Persona 6 or the next Persona game that comes out might be multi-platform. Because if you really look back on the days, 
Like, if you look back at Persona 4 Arena, Persona 4 Arena came on the Xbox 360. And me personally, I brought it on the Xbox 360 because that's the game that's the game console that I had back then, you know? So me personally, like it's crazy how that game was on the Xbox 360 because it's like, how is this game coming out multi-platform when how is this game coming out multi-platform? Persona is a PS3 exclusive. So that's just what I'm saying. Like most of the like spin-offs and most of like the subtitles for like Persona, most of them come out multi-platform. But the mainline Persona games, they mostly come out on PlayStation. I'm surprised that Persona 4 Golden even came out on PC, which I'm grateful about. I'm glad that people finally got their hands on Persona 4 Golden because it's a beautiful game. I love that game. That game is really good. I'm shocked that it's not on PlayStation 4 or Switch yet. Um, if it came out on a Switch, it would have sold even... Oh my goodness, like it would have sold even way more. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy how many people are begging for it to be on a Switch. At least Persona 4 Golden. Like, people need at least one Persona game on the Switch. Like, at least one. No more Shimagami Tensei. We want Persona. I'm pretty sure this is how fans feel. Fans want Persona. They love Shimagami Tensei, but they also want Persona. You know? <laughs> like, I'm just telling you. This announcement got leaked a while ago. It got leaked, like, last week or something like that. By Atlas employee or something like that. The video was out and the, the, the release date was out. It was all over the internet. It was all over. And then Atlas... Had had to release a statement about it and they released like this little screenshot they were you know like basically telling them like the fantasy will be back but guess what the game got announced yesterday it was the official official confirmation that this game is coming out to the west with that being said there's also something else that persona fans had to look up to that has to be exciting oh my god we cannot get enough so persona producer teases exciting plans for series 25th anniversary next year. Yo, I'm hoping this is a Persona 5 arena. Yo, if this is a Persona 5 arena, I would be so fucking pumped because we haven't had a fighting Persona game in so long. The last one, I could count, I can't count Blaze Blue Cross Tide Battle as a Persona fighting game. You can't count that, but like, if they have, I wanna see me play as Makoto, I wanna see me play as Haru, An, Joker, Ryuji, everybody. Like, like, I just want to see all the Persona characters, even from Persona 1. I want to see everybody in that one fighting game. It would be amazing. I want to see how they adapt the weapons. Like, I want to see how they adapt the weapons. It's going to look amazing. Like, to put all of that in a fighting game. Like, imagine Makoto kicking ass, you know? Like, kicking ass. I don't know how, how they're going to... Um, They did it in Persona 4 Arena. And, you know, they did it well with, like, how they use the Personas and themselves and their own weapons. It, it, they did it really well, you know? So, I'm pretty sure they could adapt persona 5 into a fighting game as well and it's gonna be amazing like please 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 like i hope arc system works is working on this i hope i hope because i do not want to see persona 6 before i see a i do not want to see persona 6 before i see persona 5 arena like i want to see fighting i'm a big i'm a huge fighting game fan so i want to see persona 5 come into a fighting game like all the characters are super unique in persona 5 so i feel like it would be beautiful to just like adapt them into a fighting game Anyways, tell me what you think. Let me know what you think about Persona 5 Strikers. Are you hyped for it? Are you ready to, to like see what's gonna happen in the story? All my Persona fans out there, do you think Persona 5 Arena is gonna be announced for this 25th anniversary? And please like, subscribe, and comment on my videos. I appreciate all the feedback about Gravity Rush. You know how I feel about Gravity Rush. Gravity Rush is my favorite title, one of my favorite titles of all time. And I'm, I'm grateful to see that other people have the same passion as me for Gravity Rush. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for the support. My name is Sam Maddock. I'll see y'all later.